it is void boom okay so um this whole video is because today i'm traveling to york to see jesse and i know i've vlogged in york before so i kind of wanted to do something a little bit different and not just vlog in york again but i just wanted to do a video because obviously i travel quite a lot not as a lot as some people but i do travel a lot and i just thought i'd do like a little video of how i travel what i do and what i pack but obviously i'm just going for the day so i'm going to show you my backpack of what i pack for a day of traveling i'm going to show you what i pack in there then i'm going to show you what i do at the train station etc maybe vlog a little bit in york as well so yes so without further ado i shall show you what i've got in my bag okay before i start right so this top oh get it from out the row this top goose and gander so megan who i went to uganda with is it's quite big in ireland and i've never really heard of this company before and she she weighs a lot of goose and gander so I was like, you know what, I'm going to go online, I'm going to check it out. And I saw this top and I was like, oh, I kind of like retro stuff. I think I've mentioned that in a vlog before, but I, I, I love retro stuff. And the glasses and you see as we a lot of retro looking style dresses. But this is like a, a retro kind of, it's not like, it's not like an antique is that what you call vintage vintage it's not vintage it's just the style but it's like it was called like a vintage retro no it wasn't vintage it was called like a retro sweater oh, i keep showing you my rolls but um yes but i ordered this top and i got email because i thought i didn't really know where the company is from i was assuming because Megan said that it was um, popular in Ireland. I thought, oh, it must be from Ireland. So it took like a week to get the top. But I got, um, and I was thinking, oh, it probably takes a little bit longer because obviously they got the transport from Ireland. I don't know if it is an Irish company. <laughs> but I thought that's where it was from. So, <laughs> so um, but I got email saying that, um we're really sorry but your order has been misplaced and i was like oh right it happens all the time you know and i was like didn't really think of anything about it and they were like oh but you'll get your top by wednesday and i was like oh well that's all right because i've only been waiting a few days anyway so it would have been like a week that i've waited which isn't too bad because sometimes i can wait for three weeks to get some clothes but then bless their hearts when i opened up my package and i got this top which i love and it's very comfortable and i like the style of it the sent is a free top and a free keyring and like some like stickers and oh but i i'm i might be wearing the top because i've packed that in my bag because i don't know what the weather's going to be like later and um so i bought a like i brought the top with us so i'll show you later but um the center is this key ring as well and i think it's pretty groovy you know so i was just like oh bless them just for like a little mistake and i was like but i did thank them on my social media and i'll put a link down below so you can see the website if you want to get yourself or if you want to get the same top as me what can be twinning it um but yes so i'm going to show you what i've got in my bag in my bag i have my sunglasses <laughs> my charger my purse i got from uganda and this is a thing I've recently decided to do because there's a lot of security checks and they do a lot of bag checks. And normally when I travel, I've got these like little, like, um, 
stuff floating about my bag and I just thought if they wanted to check they can just bring it out you know so I've got a little travel little bag and I've got deodorant in there some hand cream some perfume some lip balm hand sanitizer sanitary products so yeah enough spare hair bubble it depends if I've got my hair straight I can like sometimes um I pack a brush as well but my hair is curly so you don't want to brush out them curls because it will go into a buff on so <laughs> so that's it and obviously my top as well but um I always bring a charger because I use my phone a lot and I'll be recording when you record it loses a lot um it loses battery fast oh I've got headphones as well so I can listen to my music because you know I won't survive a journey without um music so yes yeah, so I'm at the metro station if you don't know what a metro station is I don't know if it's just a northeast thing but it's kind of like a subway or the tube or like a tram <laughs> it's not like a tram but it's some form of electrical transport so yes and i'm gonna get the metro to the station um find out what platform i am i'm um, on when i get to the station i want to get some chewing gum and a snack or a drink as well keep hydration hydration is good when you're traveling and yes and yes but I booked, I should tell you what I booked with. So I booked with Trainline and they have got an app. So you can, because a couple of years ago you had to take your card to the station, put your card in the machine and get your tickets that way. But now everything is kind of electronical. So it's on the app. So I've done, oh, there's a little kitty and it's so cute. It's too late the video. But, um... <laughs> But yes, so my tickets are on the app, so I just have to click on there and it tells us what, um, it tells us everything, what time I need to be and just scan the thing on there so I don't really have to do much when I get to the station. It does tell you how long the journey will be, what stops you've got and it tells you a platform when it's due. But it just says estimate at the time, it says estimate platform 11, but I'll probably wait until I get there and shall I bing bang bala boom. <laughs> so I'll see you in a bit. Jessie's got the pancakes, so oh, a little pork fringe, making them up. Ooh, chocolate orange muffins, muffy muff muffs, yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> so, as per usual, oh. I'm sorry. Oh, so <laughs> as per usual, I am late <laughs> uploading this video. Okay, so I went to York Saturday. It is now Wednesday, and hopefully it'll be up today. Might be tomorrow. Who knows? Oh my goodness! But yes. Um, so yes, so I think I did, I covered mostly everything. I covered what I take, the essentials of what you should take when you are travelling, if it's just for a day or not. I do think it is, um, the essentials to take is definitely hand sanitizer because 
on a train or if you're on a bus or you're flying, like I know the places get cleaned, but on a train it is hard for like on a plane, right? Just just hear me out, right? On a plane, mostly the plane will land in a destination, it will get a full clean down. And then it'll take off and go to the next destination and then get a full clean down. But on a train, it is constantly making stops and people are coming and going. And it's like the tube or the subway or metro. People are coming and going. And it's essential for me. But I think maybe it's for you to take some hand sanitizer. Because you don't know who's been sitting in that seat. And I'm a good person and I don't judge anyone. But I'm not saying that person is a dirty person. But for example, like I work in a care home. And I've worked in care for years. And before I could drive, I had to get the bus from job to job. So if I'm going from one place, the germs are on my clothes. okay, And then I'll go sit somewhere. Then the person that comes and gets my seat after I've gone has picked up my germs. That's how it works. I mean, it's essential, especially for me, because I know, because I've worked in care for so long, in hospitals, nurses and doctors will know how easily it is, it is to pick up germs, okay? It's so essential. I think essential. On public transport essential to take hand sanitizer number two chungum right <laughs> now <laughs> people say you only need chungum if you haven't if something's gone through your mouth right so if you ate something or you've drunk something not the case i'm saying this again if you're on transport if you're on um local transport or if you're going to a place that is different from your environment, like you're going to get, like when you're talking, when you're smiling or breathing, you're constantly breathing in germs. <laughs> but my teeth are like, I have to look after my teeth. So if germs and plaque are going to lie in my mouth, I need chungum. <laughs> Plus, if I'm going to see a friend, you don't want to see... you. Or, like, I went to Jesse, and obviously I met some of Jesse's friends and relatives, and um, even though we only went for lunch and then we stayed over at her house and we're looking at holidays. But um, her um, roommate, well, not roommate, housemate, whatever, and some family members came... And you don't want to be like, oh, hello, how are you? With smelly teeth, smelly mouth, with smelly breath even, and gunky teeth, dear. So chewing gum is essential for moi. Deodorant is essential for moi. I'm not a very sweaty person, but the pits do sweat. And then odour is released. So I've got to control it. So deodorant... And I always like to smell nice because I've said this before in a vlog, in a video, that if someone smells nice, I'm like, oh boy, oh ooh, girl, you smell good. So I like to smell good. So that is essential for me. Charger as well, essential. When I'm traveling, as I discussed earlier in the video, I love to listen to music. I love to catch up on social media. I like to edit on my phone. And stuff like that. So I need a charger. It has to be done. The reason I'm going over this is because I didn't realise how late I would have been for my train. Oh, is he going to ask us to move the... No. So I kind of rushed it. Okay. But I think that was it in a top. The reason I took a top is, one, it's good to take a top when you're travelling. Especially when you're on a plane right you should pack a t-shirt and a pair of clean underpants just because i've come from experience i've lost my luggage before 
So it is essential that you take another pair because you can wash the ones that you're what you're wearing until your suitcase come back. But normally, when you've lost the suitcase, it takes about two to three days to get it back. So what are you going to lie in? What are you going to lie in? What are you going to sleep in if you don't have another pair of clothes? It might be a good idea to have the pack pyjamas in your bag as well. Yes, it's a good idea. Sanitary products, like I said, you don't know when it's going to happen. Well, especially for me, polycystic ovaries and all. Whew. So, yes. Um, what else? I think that's it. Also, ID, because in copy of everything, photocopy everything, photocopy your passport. If you're traveling to like a place with yellow fever, yellow fever certificate, copy everything in case you lose it or misplace it. You've always got the copy to show them the embassy. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it. But yes, and don't do what I done. Got on the wrong train it was going to the same location but it's because well, but me and um jesse got uber to the station and i'm in the car and i'm going oh my train's coming at two minutes past it's quarter to now then she was like oh your platform's on the other side of the station so i legged it and then i sat down for a second and i was like yes my train got on it because i was panicking and i didn't want to miss the train and it turned out it was the 10 minutes earlier train and i had to pay for a ticket and i was like because it depends who the ticket guy is because they might be like oh i'll let you off this time or but this guy was like look you can either buy a ticket or get off the train at the next stop, but you might get fined. And that's what? So, yes, be careful. Make sure you always check the trains. Time, schedules, just keep on checking. Be aware and be safe, okay? Don't be done. Click that thumb, be gems, and share with your friends. And I shall see you next time.